Gemini, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your March 2019 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and Gemini Rising signs. So Gemini, for this reading I am using the Universal Tarot deck along with the Oracle of the Unicorns Oracle cards. I also will be pulling you an additional Love and Relationship guidance card and then a Health and Wellbeing guidance card as well. Okay, so the overall energy is the Six of Wands, very nice. So this is a card that represents success, victory, you feeling proud of yourself, Gemini. It's a very confident, proud energy. Um, so some of you maybe are manifesting something. Uh, there could be some sort of acknowledgement or praise that's coming your way. There could be some Geminis that you're in the spotlight in some way here in, in March, um, but you're feeling really good. Feeling really, really good for some of you could be moving forward confidently. Now, the first thing I notice here, Gemini, is you have a lot of characters. Um, so we're starting out with the King of Pentacles. We have the King of Pentacles crossed by the Knight of Wands. So you definitely have a few characters here. So some of you might be dealing with a, with a lot of people here in March. Maybe a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, you, Gemini, might be a male. Uh, maybe Taurus, Gemini, Cusper. Uh, you might have Earth in your chart. Uh, if not, I mean, you could be coming off as the King of Pentacles. He's someone who is very focused on his business, finances, career. Uh, if you don't work for a living, could be very, very focused on finances, could be very focused on the home or even family matters, uh, property assets, things like that. Uh, here with the, the Knight of Wands, there could be some Geminis that maybe you're going to be doing some traveling. Uh, you might be traveling for work or even some of you may be moving house. Um, at your foundation, I do have the Eight of Cups. So for those of you that there is maybe physical travel or maybe you're just moving forward, this can be you very excited uh, here at the start of the month here. Um, there could be some Geminis that you're maybe moving up within your career or something like that. Prior, though, um, with the Eight of Cups, this could have been you preparing yourself for this because this is like an emotional move. There could, there could have been some Geminis uh, that maybe previously you let go of something. Now, with the Eight of Cups, it could be something that emotionally wasn't serving you any longer. So this is you moving on. Uh, maybe letting go of something that, that's no longer serving you. And now here in March, you know, getting excited, uh, charging forward here. And then in the recent past, I have the King of Cups. So we have two kings here. We have the King of Pentacles, King of Cups, which could be a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces person um, that was significant in the recent past. For some of you, this was you maybe... Uh, following your heart, listening to your intuition when it when it comes to you moving on, are you moving forward? This could have certainly been your energy, Gemini. Crowning you, I do have the Page of Wands, and so there could be some Geminis that you're waiting on news. If you're waiting, um, I feel like that news is on its way. Um, you know, so if you're waiting for good news, waiting on hearing something, it is coming in. For some of you, I feel like um, you might have already heard something. You could be hearing something right at the start of the month. For some of you with the night and the page here, uh, news is definitely coming in. It's positive. It's exciting. This news might allow for some of you to move forward in some way or move towards a goal. Um, for some of you, you're going on a new adventure. It is an exciting time. And for some of you, that's maybe moving house. But then for others, I definitely feel like this is within your career. Um, now, what's interesting is around the second week in the near future position, I have the Queen of Cups. So technically, we do have a couple here with the King and the Queen of Cups. 
So you and your significant other, maybe you're moving house or maybe you're traveling. You could be going on a new adventure together for some of you. Um, for you Gemini females, you might have water in your chart. There could be a woman uh, that's significant here, uh, a water sign woman who's significant around the second week. Maybe some of you are waiting on hearing from a water sign female. Um, because we see this water energy here significant here around the second week. In the position of your power, Gemini, do you have the Ten of Cups? So we do have a couple of tens here. And so for some of you, a cycle is completing. But this is, this is emotional abundance. This is your cups runneth over. And this is in the position of your power. So around the third week, we have this, you know, really positive emotional energy. So those of you that were waiting to move forward, waiting on news, you know, this is, um, you know, some really positive emotional energy here. Some of you are very happy at this time. Um, family could also be very significant. A relationship could be very significant here at this time. Uh, and what's interesting is in the position of how those around you, friends, family, how they're viewing you, I have the Knight of Cups. So we have a page, we have a couple of knights here. So messages, news, offers coming in for some of you. Uh, there could be some Geminis. We have this couple here. So there could be some Geminis that you're getting into a relationship here in March or you're taking a relationship to the next level. If you're single, there could be an offer of love that's coming in with the Knight of Cups. And again, there's a lot of characters here. So if you're single, you know, you might have maybe some older characters and then also maybe even some younger characters around you that are maybe interested in you. Um, but in the hopes and fears, I have the two of swords, which is interesting. So the two of swords can be someone who's blocking their heart, someone who's not sure, someone who's hesitant, for me, it can even be someone who's procrastinating, someone who is even hesitant. It's not the most open energy. So because the Two of Swords is in this position, you could be fearing that someone is like this, especially those of you that this is a relationship matter or even a family matter, fearing that someone is a little closed-minded or not open or they're guarding their heart, they're not letting their guard down. Um, for some of you, that's what this is about. Um, for those of you that are waiting on news, waiting on a decision, could be hoping that that decision comes through. And then energy that you have leaving the month of March, going into April, we have the Ten of Wands. But I mentioned you have a couple of tens here. So this is just a temporary energy, a cycle's completing. For some of you, maybe something's been weighing on you or maybe you've been carrying this heavy load so a lot of different demands responsibilities and you know you've been getting it done Gemini you haven't dropped this heavy load so there could be some Gemini's that you know maybe you're working two jobs or maybe you have a family you work full-time you might have had a lot on your plate And if you are waiting on news that can maybe, you know, relieve you in some way or help kind of maybe take the pressure off, um, you know, if that's the news that you're waiting on to be able to maybe start something new, you know, especially if you're like working two jobs, maybe you're waiting on landing that one job, um, where it kind of like takes the pressure off. You don't have so much on your plate. For those of you that were waiting on that, you know, messages, communication, very significant here in March. Um, but, you know, even if you have a lot going on here at this time, Gemini, you are you are dealing with it. Um, and it is only a temporary energy. Uh, and the, the overall energy for the month is the Six of Wands, which is success. Um, so let's clarify. We will take a look at this Ten of Wands just to see what this is about. For Gemini, Gemini looking at the 
Ten of Wands for Gemini. There certainly could be some Geminis that I'm reading for. Some of you have a family. Um, there could be also some relationship stuff going on here. Uh, maybe you're working a lot. For some of you, we see you very focused on your career here right at the start of the month. And so maybe you just have a lot going on at this time. All right. Yeah, interesting. Okay. So looking at the Ten of Wands, we do have the Four of Swords, the Moon, and then the Fool. So some of you might need a break. You might need to maybe take a vacay. You know, if you've been working two jobs, you know, or you just had a lot on your plate. You know, if you're missing loved ones, maybe needing to lighten that load, maybe needing to rest, needing to take a break with the Four of Swords. For some of you, you are moving forward down a new path. I mentioned a new adventure here. And so sometimes when we're literally about to start something new, what's best for us is resting and recharging. So we have the energy when the time comes to start that new beginning. So some of you, you know, you have this new path that you're moving down. And if it is on the job front, which I definitely feel like for some of you it is, maybe you've t taken on extra hours more responsibility at work to be able to move forward down this new path um, here with the moon at this time needing to uh, listen to your intuition I feel like for some of you you might be working at night um, some of you need a break you need to rest um, that's what I'm getting with this because you are literally moving down a new path and again maybe you've taken on like more responsibility and that's you know, leading you forward down this new path um, because maybe you proved yourself at work or something like that because we have the success that's coming in. Um, but let's pull you an additional guidance card, Gemini. What else does Gemini need to know for March? There we go. And then I'm also pulling you a Whispers of Love Oracle card. But as always, over on Vimeo, I do have the March 2019 Love Tarot Forecast posted over there. That link is below if you are interested. Gemini, March, focusing on love and relationship matters. Focusing on health and well-being, Gemini, for March. All right, so I'm taking the cards that are upright, Gemini. That's this one right here. Okay, interesting. All right, so the overall additional guidance card that I have for you is leadership. Step into your leadership, share your message, inspire, and empower others. So with this card, you know, and then the overall energy, Gemini, being this Six of Wands, some of you are going to feel more empowered here in March. So maybe you've been waiting on news or, you know, maybe waiting on this recognition for some of you, this success, this rec recognition here. You might feel more empowered with this combination. Uh, step into your leadership, share your message, inspire and empower others. Some of you might be taking on that leadership role here in March. Uh, and then focusing on love life, we have look at your pattern in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. So very interesting. Um, because for some of you, we have this king and this queen of cups. We have the ten of cups here. So for some of you, a relationship is very significant. Um, you know, maybe some of you need to look at maybe how you are. Uh, it's a possibility. 
or if you want to attract love, maybe looking at the people that you normally date, like if relationships haven't been working out, um, yeah, or if you can't seem, or if, excuse me, if you can't meet someone that maybe you feel connected to, needing to do things differently. So needing to look in new areas, you know, if you always meet people, let's say, you know, out at bars or where, wherever, just using that as an example, maybe trying something new. It could be like online dating or trying something new, trying to do something different. So that's, you know, for you singles that want to meet someone new. Uh, and then those of you that are partnered, maybe looking at your patterns here uh, in March, that could be helpful. And then this is interesting um, because looking at health and well-being, we have inner authority. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for supporting me as I take back my power and listen to my intuition, desires, and feelings. So this is quite interesting how both of these cards, Gemini, have come out the inner authority and then the leadership card. And so some of you are definitely taking back your power. Now that could be with like a health matter. Uh, maybe needing to, you know, trust your instincts, listen to your intuition, you know, follow your heart, um, do what you feel is best for you with this combination. If something's been bothering you, you know, maybe doing what you feel is best for you. So very, very interesting. Um, and for some of you, that might be taking a break here, uh, lightening this load in some way, Gemini. All right, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you are interested in having a private reading with me, please check out northeasttarot.com. I want to wish you guys a great month. Take care.